Eli Kamako is a mason. He says business dried up in Togo's capital, Lome, when the COVID-19 pandemic hit in 2020. Without orders, we cannot work and earn a little money to feed our families. It was a blow for us. Millions of people like Kamako suddenly were pushed to the edge of extreme poverty by pandemic shutdowns around the world. Governments scrambled to provide aid. But there was one big problem, says University of California Berkeley computer scientist Emily Aiken. The issue is that in a lot of countries, especially low and middle income countries, they didn't have a lot of data on who to give aid to. In a country of 8 million people with vast rural areas, how do you locate the neediest people? That's where satellite images came in, says Aiken's boss, Josh Blumenstock. If you or I go to Google Maps or some satellite data provider and look at an aerial image of one town or another, you can sort of tell whether it's wealthy or not. Wealthier homes tend to have metal roofs, poorer homes tend to have thatched roofs, um, wealthier neighborhoods have paved roads, bigger plots of lands, more spaced out um, houses with fences and so forth. And so there's a lot of information in that imagery. The researchers trained artificial intelligence to recognize these patterns. The AI came up with a map of the poorest regions of Togo. The next step was to target the neediest people in these regions. So they put AI to work studying patterns of mobile phone use, Aiken says. Rich people will make just more phone calls than poor people. They also might make more international calls since those are very expensive. They might use more mobile data because they have smartphones, whereas in general, poorer people will just have feature phones. Writing in the journal Nature, Aiken and colleagues say the system did a better job identifying needy people than the Togolese government's first attempt to target aid. The program helped Kamako and his family through a hard time, he says. The money we receive thanks to the program allow us to buy food, rice, corn, in short, something to eat at home. The World Bank has taken notice of this AI-driven aid work, says lead economist Tara Vishwanath. I can see so many applications of, of this coming down as we speak because I think the risks and shocks are becoming commonplace these days, right? She says satellites and AI could help quickly target aid in climate disasters, conflicts, and more. Steve Barragona, VOA News.